planting here today in, the, in this uh, feeding trough are some hollyhocks. The reason I like hollyhocks, when I was a little boy growing up out in Oregon, in the little community we're in, uh, in the summertime, they were all along the little white picket fence where the, the older ladies lived. And they're all a variety of different colors. Uh, they're just very, very pretty flowers. They're almost like a, the Rose of Sharon that people have around here. It's similar to that. It's like the Malo family. But they, they grow up on, on a, a tall spire and then have flowers coming off of them. It's just a nice thing to have. I've been learning about gardening is that um, what you can grow and how well it does depends a lot uh, with about the soil like the quality of the soil and um, something that James is really good at is uh, remineralizing and growing the biodiversity of, of the the dirt right so it becomes soils it's, it's alive it's active and um, something something that I've been learning about that is that uh, that you can you know, no matter like <laughs> what kind of weeds are planted in that soil, if it's good soil, the, the weeds will come up easier, you know, with, with the rain, with everything else. When you garden before, do you notice a difference in um, all that you're feeding extra, like the C90? Um, yeah, well, um, Having worked for James last year into this year, we've worked with some of the same client, clients, and it's amazing to see uh, how how much their soil and their gardens have been thriving because of the extra you know, C90 minerals, natural fertilizer, even the microbes that uh, James likes to put in their soil, back into their soil, uh, to help break everything down and you know, keep it alive and going. So it's been really cool.